For more reaction to what happened over the weekend, we're joined now by White House aide Amarosa Newman. Amarosa, thanks a lot for coming on tonight. Hey so, there, um, the the president was roundly attacked by a lot of Republicans too for somehow uh, some of them said inspiring what happened uh, in mm -hmm. Charlottesville for not condemning it. Uh, with the precision that they wanted. What's your response uh, to those criticisms? Well, I think the most important response is that we have to put this into context. When the, sh the shooting happened at the Charleston Church, President Barack Obama did not come out in his first statement and condemn all white supremacists. In fact, he specifically said that I'm going to exercise great caution while the investigation takes place. When the Black Lives Matter uh, officer went and started shooting five police officers, he was a military guy, and he shot and killed five police officers, Barack Obama did not come out and condemn Black Lives Matter by name. In fact, he said again, I'm going to wait until the investigation is over. Our president, President Trump, he said that he condemned the acts. He knew that they were disgusting and loathsome. But he did not come out until the facts were known about the investigation. And today, he made a statement that was very clear and very decisive about where he stood on these acts. What kind of reaction do you get? I mean, the people who dislike Trump are really convinced that he is basically responsible for what happened in Charlottesville over the weekend. So as you're like walking down the street or you go home to see your parents, do, do people ever say anything to you about it? Well, yeah, you know, I think that the fact that I am a conservative African-American woman, that already makes me a target. Yeah. Because because they believe that I should align only with the Democratic Party and I shouldn't have differing views. But I'm a strong, very strong person and a very strong viewpoint about what's right and my vision that aligns with this president's vision for this country. So the reason I, I asked you that was that there's a video out there of you on stage at a black journalist event, I think just mm -hmm. a couple of days ago. That's right. Um, and it was on, it was on Friday. And the, the moderator, Basically, what after you was Ed Gordon, um, and it all kind of devolved on stage. For our viewers who haven't seen it, here um, here's a clip of what happened on stage. Watch, please. The dynamic that most of the black community does not understand, and that is how you would sit in a White House with a man who clearly is sending a signal to this country that. Wow. Now, uh, <laughs> the, the video that I saw said that that was a black journalist association. Were those journalists in the audience because they were booing you for your political views? It, that didn't seem like the way journalists behave. Were they journalists? Well, well, can I give you some context? I was there to share the story about the death of my father. My father was murdered when I was seven years old. My brother was killed in 2011. He was murdered in Youngstown, Ohio as well. And so the National Ooh. Association of Black Journalists invited me to come and talk about my experience and to tell my story. And so I told my story for about two and a half minutes, and then that video starts to play. And you'll see that the uh, moderator, Ed Gordon, came from behind the podium and stood directly in front of me. And he started to talk over me in a very antagonistic way. But what you don't see are Black Lives Matter protesters who start to align on the side of the stage, and they start to get up, stand up, raise their fists, and then turn their backs. So there was a lot going on, but I was very surprised once he came from behind the podium and tried to get up in my face. Uh, at least in that clip, I mean, you're being treated like a traitor, not just someone they disagree with, but someone who's, like, betraying something really important. You're a quizzling. You're committing oh, treason. Is that, is that the sense you got from them? Oh, absolutely, because the base of the Democratic Party, a big part of that base are African-American women. And so I'm a huge threat to the Democratic Party by the fact that I no longer support the policies have undermined our community for years. And so when I'm outspoken and I'm strong in my stance against their politics, they have attacked me in every single way. But Ed 
Gordon specifically tweeted earlier that day about having a very controversial interview with me and a controversial um, engagement with me. And so I believe that it was premeditated. In fact, I, I just felt very much ambushed during this process. Yeah, they don't think people should have their own opinions. Get in no, line or they're going to punish you, as I guess you just found out. Amro, so thank That's you for right. joining us. Good thank to see you, you, Tucker.